Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox, that game where you can throw things at each other. But even more so than that, you can do some really cool simulations and today we will be taking a look at what happens if we duplicate the moon. So here we have the moon and earth. The moon is much closer to the earth in this than it is in real life. Uh, we can demonstrate this by going down onto the surface of the earth and looking at the sky. Yes, if the moon looked... Oh, that's the inside of the Earth. One moment. <laughs> there we go. If the moon is this big in the sky, you should probably be concerned. Um, but point being, we are going to duplicate the moon and see what happens. So, as a lot of people probably know, but if you don't know, you're about to learn, the distance away from a object determines how fast it is moving in orbit. So something very close to another object will orbit very quickly. Uh, something further away will orbit more slowly, or at least relatively. So if we have two different uh, objects that are at the same distance from the Earth, in order to maintain that orbit, they're both going to have to go the same speed. So technically, if I copy the distance away from the other moon and put a second moon, in the same spot, these two moons should be going the same speed. And if these two moons are going the same speed, you would think they would never collide. And if we hit play, you can see, yeah, they are going the same speed. But then something's happening. This moon is now taking a rather aggressive curve away. Now what's causing that is actually the gravitational force between these two moons is causing them to throw off their perfect orbits with each other, and now there is a deviation. And that deviation is going to lead to a little bit of chaos, because they're only going to interact with each other further and further, throwing their orbits off more and more, until one of many things can happen. One could be flung into the Earth, they could collide, oh they're gonna get very close here. Oh, never mind. But now this one is way out, and this one is much closer. So you can definitely see uh, that them getting so close there caused them to... Oh, here we go again. Will they collide here? I think this is going to be it. I think the moons are going to collide here, and that's going to cause a lot of trouble for Earth. Oh yeah, a huge collision, and look at the amount of fragments that are about to pepper the Earth. I mean, too bad for the moon getting destroyed and all, but Earth, look at all of the damage. I really hope you do not live in South America slash Brazil right now because, ooh, not a good time. And the amount of damage this is causing would destroy all life on Earth. I mean, each, each of these uh, asteroids striking the Earth are absolutely massive and, uh, it would be game over, 100% <laughs> game over, but even worse is that there's just so many fragments and now this moon is actually just, I mean, it's not completely obliterated, but it was pushed even closer to the earth. So this would happen no matter what, uh, except for one case, one case. You see, if the moons are orbiting earth in any way that isn't the same, as long as they're somewhat close together, they will interact with each other and eventually throw each other's orbits off. Now, with other planets, the, the moons are very, very far apart and or too small to gravitationally pull on each other enough to make a real difference. But Earth's moon is actually quite large considering the size of Earth. And not only that, it's, it's still pretty close to Earth considering even though the moon is actually about this far away and not about exactly this far away if we perform the same experiment again with another moon even at full distance it's gonna end up with the same result it's just gonna take a little bit longer but let's go ahead and prove that here we go now we have two moons on the same path once again and let's see what happens as time goes on Yeah, that, that was actually more dramatic than I thought. I thought it would take a lot longer for them to uh, get thrown off like that. But yeah, 
look at how look at how quickly they get thrown off balance. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And that wouldn't happen if there were just one moon. Well, obviously, but... Oh! They've actually... Oh, they're attracting each other so strong that they almost actually stole each other and just went away from the Earth. That was crazy. Um, they actually recovered from it. But you can see how this is just so unstable. Oh, there they go again, interacting! But there is one stable formation that could actually form. Not in the real world, because... Well, technically it's possible, but it's also not. It's like one of those things where, yes, in a perfect universe it could happen, but it would never actually happen because of the low likelihood. But if two moons are directly opposed from each other, and I mean directly opposed from each other, technically they shouldn't mess each other up. So let's go ahead and take the moon and go here. So it's important that we get this perfectly correct. Okay, there we go. Now this is properly centered. And the moons, we already know, are properly done. So if we hit auto orbit, we get 2.8 kilometers per second. And on the other moon, we have 2.8 kilometers per second these moons are now directly opposite from each other they're going the same speed and they are directly opposite each other and something still seems to be off because that does not look like a straight line through the earth to me universe sandbox what's going on here why is your distance negative six thousand kilometers if, if you're at zero 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 then you should be at zero, 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 and the distance should be zero relative to the simulation origin. What, what is going on? Something's wacky. I wonder if something broke with their latest update because this does not seem correct. Uh, let's take a look at the distance. No, this is still correct. I mean, it's close enough. I think it, no this one's way off now this moon's way off okay wait so if i zero this out uh i'd i'd say floating point number issue but these uh numbers are not indicative of that i think this is right now though let's see so this one is at 2.82 Distance, negative 50,000, and this one is at, yes, 2.8, no, this one's at 2.82. What is going on? Now, this is saying 0, 0, 0, but it's still saying it's, okay, let's try auto-orbiting both of these again and see what happens. 2.82. Two point eight two. Okay, now they're the same. Great. So we have what I was trying to do. We have both moons, moons in a straight line through the Earth. And what this is going to do is it's going to make it so that, technically speaking, they should both be exerting an equal force on each other in the exact same direction, which means they shouldn't, they shouldn't go off. Now, granted, this simulation is not 100% accurate, so I don't know how long that'll stay true. But let's see how long it can stay stable. Like, this is 2.83 now, or it shouldn't have changed. But for the most part, it's stable. For the most part. Remember, before they got off very, very quickly, these moons are at least semi-stable there is a simulation in universe sandbox that they made that kind of shows this on a grander scale with a bunch of stars but they're much farther away from each other and uh i i don't actually this this is pretty stable would you look at that uh now anything anything at all can set this off like we even throw an asteroid in here i think it would be enough to cause it to go wacky because the amount of error adds up very quickly. Once the moons get out of whack, they start 
exerting more and more force on each other and getting even more out of whack. Uh, but like this, they are actually stable. So if somehow two identical moons were put at these positions away from each other and nothing were to affect them, you could have actually had Earth have two moons like this. Isn't that neat? It's very neat. And of course, there's also the, 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 the possibility that you have another moon just really far away. Uh, but that's boring. You know? That, that's, that's, that's not what we want. And we're not, we're not saying a second moon. We're saying a second the moon. I'm actually really surprised by how stable this is. Um, I, I did not... I, I did not think that it would stay this stable for this long. It may actually be stable stable. The speed's going up and down um, pretty regularly. Let's see if we speed it up a little bit. When you speed up the simulation, it does allow a little bit more error. No, look at that. That's awesome. We, we actually We actually have it working. You can, uh, you can really see, you can really see the effects of this. This is, this is really neat. Oh, they're going off! Are they? I feel like they're wobbling a little bit. Yeah, I can see a little bit of a wobble. There's a very, very slight wobble, but that, that is going to be the end. Because that wobble is only going to get worse over time. Look at them dance. It's kind of calming. It's crazy to think that things like this are possible. Just mathematically speaking. You know, even if it's wobbling a little bit, it is still really darn stable. I mean, we can go pretty fast in... It's crazy. I, I did not think it would last this long. It's honestly a testament to the Universe Sandbox team's ability to make really accurate physics because... It's, uh, especially in uni- Oh, I sped it up too much! Oh, that's so sad. Oh, yeah, I, I just sped it up too much. That was my fault. But, yeah, what do you like of that? We can get a stable binary moon system around the Earth. That's, uh, that, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's cooler than other planets with their lame moons. I mean, let's go ahead and get Saturn. I mean, sure, you can have a bunch of moons on very different orbits that, that don't interact with each other because they're small and lame, and the main body is so large that its gravity is so giant in comparison. But I think there's something cool about, you know, having two moons on the exact same orbit like that. And the answer is, yeah, you, you, can, you can do it, at least in the Universe Sandbox. It's a little bit more challenging to do in the real world. But I'll see you all next time. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if not, still leave a like and subscribe. You've been trapped. I've played my trap card.